Welcome back to Plants to the Rescue. I'm Julie and this is another grocery haul. It's that time, it's the Walmart once a month grocery haul. It's my least favorite grocery haul um, of the month. I don't know why, but I just don't really prefer it. But necessity sometimes takes over and you do what you gotta do. And so we do, and we're gonna try to showcase all kinds of places. My husband, say hi, Sean. Hello. And I've gotten really, really excited just about the challenge. We do live in a major city in Massachusetts, and there are so many grocery stores, and we're going to hit them all. We're going to hit everything from bodegas to Middle Eastern stores to Asian supermarkets to your, your chain stores. We're going to hit Target. We're going to hit Stop and Shop, all these, Walmart, like everything that we can find. Um just to show you that you can shop for a family of three, three adults in this case, but any family of three, for under $100 a week and follow a whole food plant-based diet. Some of the purchases in our, in our orders are not gonna be as pristine. I've talked about this before and sometimes we are gonna have organic produce and sometimes we're not going to. My whole thing, I've lost 180 plus pounds on a whole food plant-based diet, and my husband's lost about 150. And we've done this by doing the best we can within our means. And I've even heard Chef AJ talk about this too. Do the best you can, um, how did she say it? I never remember how she says it. But the least restrictive you can that will work for you and get you results is what you should follow. Something to that effect. And that's exactly what we do. There's times where we, you know, can get a whole bunch of organic based on where we're shopping or um, how much we've got for the budget that week or how much we need in the house. And there's other times where it's not going to be organic. I will tell you that sometimes a little bit of sugar will sneak in the, the condiments, a little bit of salt, or sometimes even a lot of salt will sneak in the condiments. Where are Sean and I, where do we land on the whole food plant-based journey? Well, first I want to tell you that. What it means to us is that we do not add any oil when cooking at all. We water saute, we use broth occasionally. It's mostly water saute. We use the Instapot and the air fryer a ton. I barely ever use my stove or my oven anymore. Um, but no oil and no like refined processed sugars are ever added to our foods. So um, you will see though sometimes, like I said, the condiments ketchup or like today it's salsa and like um we've got banana peppers and jalapenos and stuff like that they do have a little bit of salt some of them possibly have a little bit of sugar in them we don't sweat the small stuff because we haven't had to um maybe if we were being super super uber strict and we were you know in a mad dash to get to this number on the scale we'd have to be probably a little bit stricter but we're at the place now we've lost so much weight um we're just doing the best we can. We're enjoying life. And the sometimes I've tried to get really super, super legalistic, perfectionistic about this. And I've gotten super discouraged and I've gone off because financially I couldn't always buy the best products that were oil or sugar free. Or I couldn't buy all the fancy balsamic vinegars and I couldn't do all that. So we are doing the best we can within our budget, within our lifestyle. And honestly, when it comes to following any kind of lifestyle, you have to do what works for you and your family. So this has gotten us great results. My blood work and my numbers speak for themselves. They're absolutely perfect. So I feel confident in what we're doing. But let's get back to the haul. All right, so what did we do today? Today was Walmart. And this week I was feeling kind of saucy. <laughs> what do you think of that, John? Nice. I was feeling like a saucy girl this week. So some of the things that I plan on making this week, I'm going to make a big, 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 big pot of spaghetti sauce slash pizza sauce slash any kind of tomato sauce that you need. And my husband is doing like praise hands because my husband and my adult son, all right, we have a 25 year old son that lives with us. They love my sauce. <laughs> Her think, sauce is the best in the world. <laughs> they think my sauce is epic. So I'm going to make a huge pot and instead of making like several pots of sauce throughout the week, I'm just going to make the one big pot and we'll use that multiple different ways. I'll use that as whatever, whatever ends up happening. So we normally start, I believe, with the fruit that we picked up this week. So we're going to start with the fruit and I'm going to let you know what we got. 
Um, we still have bananas in the house because we always have bananas in the house. Oh, and full disclosure, full disclosure, very little fresh produce is on the table this week. If you saw, I did do a short that we did a mini farmer's market haul yesterday. So I spent a little under $50, it was like 46 something on a mini um, farmer's market haul. I didn't do a, a, a big video, but I did do a short on there. So that's on YouTube and it's also on my Facebook group. And we do do that occasionally. So I do keep the main budget to 100 or less a week, but once in a while I will run out of, say, nutritional yeast or spices, PB powder, stuff like that that we buy on Amazon or other places like that. And that will be separate from our regular grocery budget. Um, I don't do it often, but every couple of months I do need to refill that supply. And every now and then, if the farmer's market looks incredibly good, usually probably like once a month, I will head to the farmer's market and pick up some extra fresh produce. So we have a lot of that in the house. And if you want to see what we bought, check out the short that I put up yesterday and you'll know what we also have in addition to this. All right, enough explanations. I got my bananas like I normally get. So you know what a banana looks like. I don't need to hold it up for you. We got um, about 14 bananas. They can also see it on the other camera. Cool. And um, we will halfway through the week without fail, usually a Thursday or a Friday, Sean and I will go get more non-dairy milk and we will pick up more bananas. And usually that's all we will pick up in addition to this. So we'll spend like another five or six dollars. So it'll end up being like $106 for the week. I, I just don't want to mislead anyone to think that we don't replenish any of this because we will replenish these things. So I got 14 bananas and I got a big bag of gala apples and I got two cans of the no sugar added pineapple tidbits. And we're going to be using those because we love pineapple on our pizzas. I'm going to be making a two ingredient pizza crust um, with quinoa. So that's usually what we do. Um, we use all kinds of things. So we ha once in a while we'll pick up a, a no, oil, no oil pizza crust. We've ordered them once in a blue moon from, um, is it Plant Strong? Is it Plant Strong? Yeah. Plant Strong? Red Pestle Steams Company. You know, you know what I'm talking about. But those get really, really super pricey. So we save that for like New Year's Eve. We have like, that's our New Year's Eve thing sometimes. Um, Sometimes we do our own charcuterie boards. It depends. Whatever I'm in the mood for, honestly, is what we end up doing. But I do love pineapple on pizza. So, and it is more economical for us. We bought a big bag of quinoa a few weeks ago on sale, dirt cheap, and it's going to last like for a long, 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 long time of making pizzas because that's primarily how we use our quinoa. Um, I'm not a huge fan of quinoa on its own, but as a two ingredient, like a flatbread or a pizza base or a wrap base I love my quinoa which is extra protein so that's awesome so for fruit in the house we've got the bananas we've got the apples I've got tons of frozen banana bananas I've got bananas over there on my counter that you can't see I have bananas in the fridge that were starting to go too ripe that I hurried up and got there we've got bananas everywhere and we always do we've got the apples we've got the uh, pineapple tidbits and I do have some um, unsweetened applesauce for baking primarily. I will use that for baking my son's goodies. I don't really bake for Sean and I unless it's a holiday, but I do bake weekly for my son so he doesn't have to deal with vending machines at his college. So I've got the applesauce for him. And for vegetables this week, for fresh, we've got sweet potatoes. And I can already tell you, Sean doesn't know, but I'm planning on making sweet potato pudding this week. Mm -hmm. Probably for at least two breakfasts, maybe just one, and then I'll use those other sweet potatoes and something else. But we will be at least once this week having sweet potato, potatoes? We're having some sweet potato pudding. We're having some sweet potato pudding, and all literally that is in that is cinnamon, sweet potatoes, and a little bit of unsweet and non-dairy milk. I roast these suckers until there's like nothing. They're just caramelized all over my parchment. And then I whip them in my Vitamix with a little bit of spices and a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. Put that in the fridge and the next morning, that is like the most amazing breakfast to wake up to. So we've got sweet potatoes. I've got some organic um, tomatoes because lately I did buy a whole bunch of cucumbers at the farmer's market. So I'm using just a little bit of unseasoned rice vinegar and tomatoes and cucumbers and I'm making a little fresh salad out of that 
all topped up like a chopped tomato cucumber salad so good my husband who does not like cucumbers has been asking for every meal for the past two days to have that salad with me so we keep winning there and I got an onion. I have another onion in the house somewhere because I always use a little bit of onion in my um, water sauteing. So we've got an onion here. We've got more onion in the fridge and another one on the counter. And then we've got our frozen veg because like I said, we've got all kinds now from the farmer's market of fresh veg because I really did need to. When I see that we are depleted, the $100 a week will probably not do. So that again is full disclosure. When I see that we're running out and my frozen supply is getting small, my fresh supply is getting really small, I will do like once a month an extra like $50 for just veg and stuff like that. But we've got two frozen cauliflower. These have been great. If you have a child that is reluctant to eat veg, I have been sneaking the frozen cauliflower in my son's smoothies and he is just drinking them down like it is nothing. And the frozen cauliflower, he'll do that. He's better now, like he'll do kale, he'll do spinach in a smoothie. He can handle seeing the green now, but at first he wasn't so keen on seeing the green in the smoothie because he was coming from a 100% processed junk food vegan diet and anything green like was gonna be the death of him. Um, but at the beginning, I was using a lot of cauliflower. I even snuck white beans into his smoothies because he's not a fan of beans either, and he's sucking them down now. But cauliflower is great to put to all kinds of things. You can put this in your baked goods too, and you're really not gonna notice. Like a huge, you might wanna reduce the amount of liquid that you use because you know these take on a lot of liquid when they cook down. Um, but cauliflower is great to sneak into everything. Sneak it into mashed potatoes, you can sneak it into anything. All right, so we got some cauliflower. Uh, I'm gonna make a giant stir fry this week just to have in the fridge because I bulk cook rice. So I will bulk, I don't, you know, cook smarter, not harder is hugely important. You really wanna cook smarter, not harder. And I, I learned that the hard way because I was constantly having like, make you when you're doing whole food plant-based, you are not eating out. You are the chief cook and bottle washer in your house, whether you like it or not. If you want to live this healthy lifestyle, you are cooking. I don't care if you have a lot of money in your budget or a little money in your budget, you're cooking. So I have learned to batch cook, bulk cook, lots of stuff. Instapot, if you don't have one, please, please, please buy one. But I'm gonna make a giant stir fry up with some of the fresh I have and some of the frozen and we're gonna have a lot of stir fry. Oh, well, water chestnuts added to make it deluxe on, so. We're gonna enjoy that. I got another Brussels sprout and I got three more broccoli cuts, which I made up a cheese sauce a couple days ago, a roasted red pepper cheese sauce. I think I'm gonna blitz some, some broccoli cuts and I'm gonna have a cheesy broccoli soup with that. So I'm excited about that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of frozen veg on top of with a few bags left. And uh, we're good to go with the veg. All right, moving on. I got a lot of canned stuff this week, so we'll talk about our canned things. Like I said, I got a lot of the tomato sauce, I've got the, the pineapple tidbits, and for condiment type stuff this week, I got some thick and chunky salsa. I like to think I'm a little still thick and chunky. But anyways, I got some thick and chunky salsa. Sean hates it when I'm corny with the camera, but I could care less. I got two big ones of these this week because we're gonna have, um, I'm gonna try to make wraps for burritos out of the quinoa so we can have like the baked, I don't know how it's gonna work out, but like a baked burrito. We'll see how that goes. We're also gonna have Mexican rice bowls. So I'm excited about that. And I got the um, banana peppers and the jalapeno slices for our quinoa pizzas. So yeah, our toppings are usually for our pizzas our favorite and some people are like, that is a nasty combination. But we love broccoli, pineapple, and the hots, the jalapeno and banana peppers. That is our absolute favorite. Sean, what do you get to say about that? Love it. <laughs> we absolutely Eat it. love that. We don't ever get sick of that pizza either. No. Like every now and then Sean will want mushrooms or something on it. And like once a year we'll go crazy and we'll put like tofu and tempeh and really load it up like our version of a whole food meat lovers pizza. But most of the time that's always our thing is broccoli, pineapple, Nutrition. nutritional yeast sometimes. We're out of nutrients though, bud, sorry. And uh, the jalapeno and banana peppers. So 
that is our condiment of the week because we usually have a condiment of the week. All right, so for grains this week, we got a big five pound, I'm thinking. Yeah, five pounds of jasmine. It's Sean's week. So I will not have very much of this. I've got leftover farro in the house and I've got barley in the house and those will primarily be my grains other than oatmeal. I'll have a little bit of this in the stir fry bowls, but I'm not a huge rice eater. This is all my husband all week and I can't win every week about what I get. So occasionally Sean gets his jasmine rice. When I do have rice, I do tend to stick to the brown rice. And yes, I'm being a rice Whole food plant paste superior snob, Sean. <laughs> he's, he's sticking his tongue out at me. Our other, you can't see you, you know, Sean. I know. Um, the yeah, other I think rice is the best. <laughs> the other grain of the week is another um, whole grain, old fashioned oats. I just, I can't stop. I still have probably one, one more of these. Oh, I already opened that one, so I probably only have a half of a container of the, I think it's 42 ounce. Yeah, I'm so would be so happy with me. I can't stop with the oats. I love them. I have my hubby eating a lot more oats too, and I'm super excited. That's another smoothie ingredient too. My son knows nothing about. Sometimes oats make it in his as well. All right, the non-dairy milks of the week. I half got my way. So we've got unsweetened almond milk, and you know what? Again, full disclosure, I pretty much guarantee this has oil in it. It does it. Almond milk, calcium carbonate, sea salt, potassium. No, I lied to you, it doesn't even have oil. Well, that makes me happy, Sean. That's Wait, all Wait, it's nice. got sunflower lecithin. I bet that is a little bit of oil. I bet it is. I don't think it is. I bet it is. Might Anyways, be. if you know, tell us below. But that stuff, I'm really not going to sweat. It's 30 calories per one cup. And it's literally only to like go in a hot beverage or very little in something else. So we, we, I just, I don't sweat that stuff. Um, maybe I should, maybe I'm doing myself a huge disservice, but we've been in this and at this hall for a, a long way of living. This lifestyle has been going on for a long, long time for us. And uh, so far, if it isn't, you know, broken, I'm not going to fix it. Um, just because, because the truth is we would have to do without non-dairy or I, I, and for a while I was trying to make my own nut milks. Wow. They, they sucked, huh, Sean? They, they just, weren't, they weren't great. They weren't great. The stuff would settle because, you know, I'm not, I don't have the emulsifiers that the, the com big companies use and the nut milks would be okay for like a day. And then the next day you'd go get your milk out of the fridge and it'd be like watery stuff on top and just sediment on the bottom and you'd shake it, but it'd never fully like emulsify again. And no, I don't want that in my tea. Thank you very much. All right. But I did get this one. See everybody. I got, I got mine. I did get one on sweetened soy today. So I was very excited about that. What is left on the table to talk about? Brian's, Brian stuff. All right, but we will go there. All right, so the sweetener of the week for Brian, again, is maple syrup. We had um, coconut sugar last week, and um, we also have the peanuts, uh, the 100% natural. So I'm like giving me orders. Like I'm not 100% perfectly lined up in the camera. He's starting to drive me crazy. I move around. I use my hands. I do all kinds of things. I am not ever going to be like, a, you know, I'm not a movie star. I'm just Julie. Anyways, we have got just peanut butter for Brian. I love the in this week. Maple walnut, whole food plant-based maple walnut cookies this week. He seemed to like those okay. But he likes the stuff with the chocolate chips way more. So these are vegan. They're not great. And I know that they're not, they're not great. They, uh, they do have erythritol in them. So not, and they've got stevia and yeah, it's got that sunflower lecithin. I want to know what that is, but they are vegan and they are low, 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 low sugar. Um, and so we, you know, you do the best you can and this bag will last at least a week, if not two weeks. So we got those for Brian. We've got the peanut butter for Brian. Uh, the peanut butter, we stay way out of the maple syrup unless Sean's having pancakes, oat pancakes, which he got this week. We stay out of that. And then these, we will, 
We will only have nuts now once a week on Saturday because I got a little prick in my spirit that I was indulging a little bit too much in my son's walnuts. So Sean and I made a deal that on Saturday, my little oat bomb thing, Bobo's pretend oat bake biscuit cookie cluster things that I eat for breakfast, yeah, we're only gonna have nuts in them once a week on Saturdays. I like a nut, but a nut doesn't always like the waistline. Nuts are tremendously healthy. They are not conducive to, to uh, weight loss. So as wonderful as a nut is, I'm gonna keep my nuts to my son. <laughs> Cause I am nuts about nuts. And I just watched a thing from Chef AJ I think it was today. I think it was this morning or yesterday. It was this morning. So she was literally like, if you're an addict, like it's a trigger for her. So one nut will send her packing. And I don't feel like I, I don't feel, and I could come back. This is what I said. This is why I'm doing the weekly blogs with you. I could come back a year from now and tell you I've sworn off nuts completely. So we are constantly evolving and that is super important on the whole food plant-based journey is to remember that it is in fact a journey and that you're evolving. And you know, I've, I've, I've seen other people get slammed because, well, you had a YouTube video before and you were saying this and now you're saying this. Why the hell are you slamming them? They're evolving, they're changing. And that's what we're supposed to do as a species, as, as a people group, we're supposed to evolve and change. We're supposed to do better as we know better and as we get better. So don't, you know, don't don't throw shade on people because they're changing. My husband's dying laughing at me. But don't. It's not cool. So if I say something and I do something different six months from now, it's not because I'm a hypocrite. It's because I grew. So just remember that when you're critiquing people's videos. And I've done it myself because I I've, I've been a little bit nasty sometimes to Chef AJ. But I think it's more of just jealousy, honestly. I'm going to fess up and confess that to you. That um, I, I haven't found it in myself to be able to adhere to the level of strictness that she has in her life. And I think sometimes you dig on people because you're not where they're at and you're jealous. And so I fully confess that to you. Where her and Dr. Goldhammer are at, I'm just, I'm not there and that's not anybody's fault but my own. Um, I'm where I am, but I'm a heck of a lot further than I ever used to be. And so cut people some slack while they're changing and evolving and uh, just be kind. Kindness, you know, if you're whole food plant-based, chances are you might have gone vegan first. We're all about kindness to the animals, but sometimes we're not so kind to our fellow, fellow man. So remember, kindness is extends to everyone and everything. Enough Julie lectures today. Didn't know that that was coming in the grocery haul, but stay tuned. There might be more of that. All right. <laughs> Anyways, the grand total and the things we'll be eating. Big pot of sauce for spaghetti and pizzas. And I might make some pizza bites and all kinds Ooh. of things like that. Uh, we're going to have lots of rice bowls, stir fry bowls, Mexican bowls and wraps. Um, we're going to have the quinoa pizzas and we're going to have sweet potato pudding. I'm going to make my son some baked goods and the grand total for all this wonderful, delicious food that truly does last us for seven days and beyond was $98.06. Next week, it will be price chopper. So next Tuesday, I do believe that we're going to be doing price chopper. So stay tuned. Come back on, I think, Saturday I think it'll be Saturday. Sometime this weekend, we're going to be doing a, a little chit chat. And I don't know, it might be Sean and I this weekend. Who knows if I can force him on. All right. Love you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace out. And remember, kindness matters. All right. Bye.